Welcome back with just a day to go until the Eurovision Grand Final. I am joined by Cheryl Baker, who of course we just saw there. She won the competition back in 1981 with Bucks Fizz. She's here with our Lucy, of course. I mean, I'm sorry, that is for me is probably one of the best songs and best performances of Eurovision <laughs> history. Iconic. It's iconic it, it, and it will always be that way, Cheryl. You were part of history. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We actually are a part of history, yes. aren't we? Especially Eurovision history. And and the UK have only won five times. And, you know, to say that you're one of those winners is pretty epic, actually. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. And the grand final, of course, tomorrow night. What will you be doing? I'm having As a, a party. winner, I was going to say, you have to have a party. Is that not just Imagine official? Imagine going to a party of Cheryl Baker. I know. <laughs> Eurovision. You'd have to get dressed up, wouldn't you? Do you dress I'm making... up? Yes, I am. I am dressing up. I am dressing up in a union jack because I haven't had time. Because of into... this time of year is the busiest time for us. Yeah. So I'm dressing up in just union jacks and and having flags and things Keeping and bunting. It's going to be a removable yeah. skirt. No, but we do still do that. <laughs> it's a bit sad at our age, but we do still rip the skirt off. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 yeah. you have to. You and have I'm going to make um, Swedish meatballs and have a smorgasbord. Oh, I'm going to do everything Swedish. Very impressive, yeah. Cheryl. I like <laughs> your style. Um, unfortunately, today, of course, we've heard, you know, it's a very politically charged final. Yeah. Um, Richard Arnold was on GMB earlier, just saying in the in the village last night, where it was normally a bit of a, a really hub of people, everyone's busy partying, but it was quite thin on the ground, Lucy. People are kind of feeling it in the air. Yeah, it's a real shame. I mean, so there was thousands of pro-Palestinian protesters in the Swedish city of Malmo, obviously protesting against Israel's entry into Eurovision. Mm -hmm. um, Eden Golan, who's their performer, was booed um, when she put, when she was rehearsing on Wednesday night when she was performing in the semi-final last night. Although we have had reports that now... Um, but last night there was kind of mixed in the crowd, so it was some cheers as yeah. well as boos. So hopefully by Saturday... Yeah, it'll have lifted yeah. some I hate that politics... I know, it's just so sad, isn't it? I, honestly, you know? it ruins such a, such a joyous, wonderful occasion. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of get it, but I, I hate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. It's, it's unfortunate Anything, any of it has to happen at all. Um, talking about our favourites, though, mm -hmm. what are we thinking? Well, Runners and riders. Well, the favourites, the official favourites, Croatia and Switzerland so far. So Croatia's got apparently, I don't know where this comes from, but 42% chance of oh, winning. I mean, okay. you can see there Croatia's performance. I love <laughs> It's from Baby Lasagna. I know, I love it. it. I and love it. And the name of the song is... Rim Tim Taggy Dim. I mean, it is actually quite catchy. Don't ask me to sing it, because I can't. Um, but it's, but that's, bit, that's... It is. See, Cheryl's singing it. She's going to be singing it at her party. But then uh, the performance was incredible. I mean, there's, like, neon cows, goats and washer nuns, all sorts of things. So it's a real spectacle uh, to watch. Switzerland's entry, apparently 20% chance of winning. So that's, that's Nemo performing uh, there, The Code. And other favourites include Ireland. Um, so Ireland's in with a shot. Bambi Thug, uh, quite look at... Historically, they're very good, aren't yes, they? Yes, this, this is completely different. This is not the typical Irish entry, mm -hmm. and I think that's why she could be the wild card. Yeah, oh, really? They could be. Sorry. Okay, yeah, heard it here first, so that yeah. was Doomsday Blue. So yeah. Yeah, uh, Finland. However, everyone <laughs> is talking about <laughs> Finland, and you will talk about Finland the second you watch them perform <laughs> because um, this is probably the yeah. This is maybe one of the only bits we can show. Let's yeah. just say he's fairly naked. Yes, he is. <laughs> So, Windows 95 man with no rules and just demonstrating there are no rules. So, he's got no a rules. nude thong dancing about on stage. There. There it's, but it's kind of why we love Eurovision, well, it is. isn't it? It's, it's outrageous. Isn't it? It's some of it's funny. There's yeah. some brilliant songs, great performers, yeah. but that fun bit is. And still... the crazy ones. Yeah. I mean, we love the crazy of ones. Of course don't we, we yeah. do. Of course yeah. we do. And what do we think of our Ollie? Well, I love Ollie. We all love Ollie, but apparently he's got one. UK's got a one percent chance of winning. I mean, he's You're laughed. Kidding me. He's laughed at this and said it was better than zero. I mean, he's brilliant, and we were all really excited. So, still, you know, one percent could turn into eighty. Anything you, know, you never know. Enough. Honestly, Don't... when the when the public vote comes in, mm. you know, the someone who could be the favourite can it can yeah, do all this. Yeah. So, 
So come on, Ollie. Well, Cheryl, there are very few people could sit here and give Ollie any sort of advice on the eve of the final. What would you pass on to him? Oh, what he's would you brilliant. Say? He's got an amazing voice. I love the little trill that he's got in his voice. Uh, he's a great professional. All I would say is, you're in front of like nearly 200 million people. Enjoy the moment. Mm. And it's over like that. I know yeah. that. I know what it's like. You know, after three minutes, you think, did it just happen? Yeah. So just enjoy it. Just it's have that, great it's fun. It's that build up, isn't it? The, the excitement and, yeah. and nerves, but it's so worth it. It's 50 years, of course, with ABBA since yes. day one with Waterloo. Yeah. There have been whispers of a reunion. Well, Benny and, Bjorn, Benny and Bjorn said they're not going to be performing. However, um, on their official TikTok, ABBA's official TikTok, they said, did you miss us? Because um, we missed you. So they're sort of hinting something's going to happen. And famously, the, the guy who's kind of lit the stage and created that sort of whole uh, technical performance is the man behind ABBA's voyage. So it could be that we see... We're going to see something. It may be it's kind a, of a recreation right. of their whole There is a crossover there, yeah. so anything's possible, anything's basically. Possible. If they made an appearance, honestly... <gasps> oh, wow. The world would erupt. Yeah, it would. would be fantastic. Couldn't agree more. Well, the Fizz are currently on tour across <laughs> England and the grand final of Eurovision is on tomorrow night, 8pm on BBC One, so we can actually see you back on stage, Cheryl. That's the whole point. <laughs> um, with, with the skirt. It's all possible, isn't it? Um, oh, I definitely now. will. <laughs> Still to come. Well, so you know, what did you...